Powerful 3D printed gearbox for heavy loads. Stay tuned. Start with connecting engine to the main body. Simply push this to the place and if you want you can use 4mm bolts. Now it's time to install input gear. Connect this to the motor. Feet have to be really tight, so use force to get gear in place. If the input gear is in place, it's time to next one. Push 4mm rod through the gear and then connect bearings to the both sides and bearing push into the hole and gear is in place. Before we continue, check that gears are moving freely. Now install the top side bearing. Install the cover and first floor is complete. Secure this with 3mm bolts. Those bolts what you see right now is way too short. I change them later when I notice that something is really wrong. It's time to install third gear. Again install bearings to the both sides and fit gear to the place. Before we close the second floor, check everything is moving as it should. And now I understand that the bolts are too short. I change them off camera. And finally, let's install output gear. Before we continue, I want to let you know that I also have video where I show 4 different ways how to connect gears to the rotating shaft. And also right now, I am using one way what I show in this video. I show there how to attach gears step by step and also every different way pros and cones. Video link is in the description down below. Check it out. And let's continue with the build. This way what I use right now is bolt through the hole. Simply this means that output shaft and gear have one hole through them. Screw the bolt through the hole and gear is connected with shaft. If gear is connected to the shaft, it's time to install this to the gearbox and close the cover. Again push bearings to the hole and check is everything working fine. Put the excess off from the third gear and the gearbox is ready. Now let's connect wires. I am using speed controller but you don't need to, you can use just simple switch 
or take power directly from the battery. And now it's time for first test. And the gearbox is working perfectly. But let's see how powerful this gearbox is. Here is my simple setup what I made to test this gearbox power. I 3D printed two mounts what I screwed to the wood. And between the two mounts I drilled the hole. And with rope is connected one bucket where I put weight in. I use bottles what is filled with water. Every bottle is 1.5 liter. So one bottle weighs 1.5 kilograms. Well, three kilograms was way too easy. I add more two bottles. I add more tube bottles. Well, this was piece of cake. Now I tried something much more heavier. Then I hit one click, and gearbox was not turning anymore. The tire is in air, so this did lift this up. But I didn't give up. I take a bit more power for battery and I reconnect the rope a bit better. Well, this time my speed controller starts smoking, but I continue with the test. And like we see, the tire is in air. So this did lift this up again, and I can say that this test was also a success. I am sure that this setup is much more capable of. This motor is 12 to 24 volts, but I am using right now only 12 volts. So I can increase twice of the power. But anyway, I am really happy with the gearbox because this was totally success. So if you did like this video, Please support this channel and hit the subscribe button. Also comment down below what you wanna see next. But right now, bye.